All right, guys, depending on how long you've been watching the channel, you may or may not have seen me using strawberry jello on chicken. I haven't used it in a while, been catching just as many fish on the regular chicken, but today I decided to mix it up, literally, and use it again. I figure I'll give you a little rundown on how I make this stuff. Normally I do it at home before I get out here, but decided to cut it up out here on the boat. It's nice and easy to prepare. Cut this stuff up into relatively small strips. I do not use big pieces of chicken generally. Why? Because I think these fish are feeding on mussels when they're in here. So pieces about that big, not very big. What I do is take all this chicken, put it into a bag, back into the ziplock bag then y'all know what's next i just take a whole pack of it open her up just sprinkle it in there and then honestly all you do is shake and bake ricky bobby would be proud now as this stuff sits it starts to change a little color change a little texture the moisture starts to mix with the jello mix. It starts to congeal a little bit. You can use it immediately. People ask me all the time, how long do you let this stuff sit? I'm gonna use it right now. I just made this stuff. We're gonna put it to work right away. Literally, all I'm doing, mm, smells good enough to eat. Do not eat it, guys. Put it on the hook just like that. You're ready to fish. Just my drift rig. I'm drifting, I'm well, technically I'm trolling. We have no wind this morning. So I am trolling here. She's going to crawl the motor doing about a half mile an hour. The one downside to this stuff, guys, is it's sticky. You'll get it on your rods. You'll get it on your reel handles. Trying to keep your hands as clean as possible. It's going to be hard not to get sticky. All right, guys, we got one on this outside planer. Finally, poof. Been dragging for about 20 minutes. Finally had a rod go. I was sitting here contemplating my strategy for today, whether I was going to mix it up with some regular plain chicken, just to see a little side-by-side -side comparison. Dragging this for now. I really wish this vertical suspended bite would work. We tried that a little bit on a guide trip yesterday. Had a good pull down, but we didn't hook up on the fish. I think it was a decent fish too. This planer board off here, a little big cat board action going on. Let's see what's in here. Been a lot of water moved through here. We've had a lot of rain, about four inches of rain. And uh, this reservoir is fairly small, so they move water through here very quickly. A massive reservoir above it, so it stays relatively clear. Part of the reason I came here today was to get in some clear water. But some of the lakes are kind of muddy, so nothing against that. I just wanted to look at clean water. It's a nice blue. Oh, that one ate every bit of that hook. It is hooked in the bottom of the throat. That sadly will happen, even with circle hooks on some of these fish when they inhale these baits. There you go, nice blue catfish. Good eater size. If I was keeping them to eat, this is what I'd be eating. The old chicken working. Get them back. All right, guys, there's fish number one. Skunks out of the boat, proof that it works. I know this stuff works, it catches fish. How big a difference it makes over plain chicken is in question. There's some, you know, good sides to it. One, it gives you some enthusiasm to try something new, which is always fun when you're out fishing to experiment, try stuff, it keeps you excited. The, the other thing is there could be an attraction with it and it could be from the collagen that is in gelatin. Does flavor make a difference i don't know i've just used this one flavor one downside to it is it's sticky uh it can be a sticky mass i'm gonna try to keep my hands clean otherwise your rods and your handles and you know everything else will get kind of sticky but fun to play around with this stuff we'll talk a little bit more about why fish may be hitting it but uh for now we're going to keep pulling through here and uh we're also going to talk about one of the things in the water that i don't like seeing that is a good fish <sighs> I'm not sure what I got. Is he still there? Yes, he is. He's into a planer board line, which is not good. This fish don't know he's hooked. 
That fish don't know he's hooked. He's in another line. That could be a striper. He's running weird. He hit that thing really weird. Get some stuff out of the way. I'm into a planer board. That's the only thing that worries me here. It's a good fish. I have come a long way. A very long way. Just finally got hit. Chess actually considering picking up and moving. And this one hammered it. I'm only in fairly shallow back here. That's a good one. Heck yeah. We'll take him. We've been dragging so long, the sun is starting to come out. <laughs> it's took a while. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, that one hit it like a freight train. I just got back here, sun was starting to come out. Put my bimini top up and I heard zit, zit, zit. The sound you wanna hear. You can see this one's got a lot of spawning markings on it. There we go, a bunch of bite marks from the spawn. Nice fish in the teens. Nice looking fish. He's eating the jello. Why's he going away? Summer. About 16 pounds. Get him back alive. Yeah, folks, that's only the second fish I put in the boat. Man, I pulled a long way since that last fish, probably three quarters of a mile. Came through some various types of bottom structure, some rocks, uh, and I'm into the back of a creek now, and that's where I put this fish in the boat. It's a slow bite. I think a lot of it's to blame on the mayflies. There are a lot of mayflies in here. Plenty of bait. I'm marking fish. I should be catching fish, but man, this is a massive mayfly hatch on this reservoir, and I think it's affecting things. Everything feeds on the mayflies, and, and everything that feeds on the mayflies gets fed on by catfish and everything else. There's a lot of fish in here. I've seen a lot of fish this morning, so I'm going to keep dragging. I don't drag and drift and troll too much in shallow water, but that's where I'm at now. I'm in about nine feet of water. I'm going to keep pulling it for a while if for no other reason. I'm too lazy to anchor up back here. I just want to kind of cover water, see if I can find some post spawn fish that are willing to bite or just hit one in the head and make them mad. I think I may have a fish on this inside planer. It is. It is. I had a hit on it a minute ago and it pulled off. This one appears to be hooked up. The twist on this one is, out of the six rods I got out, this is a piece of cut bait. I cut the sides off of a perch to put on my perch rod. And I said, you know what? I was swapping baits, was out of bait on one. And I said, I'm gonna put a piece of cut bait out on one just for the heck of it. Had two bites on it. And this is a hooked up fish. Let's see what we got here. Listen, we'll take them any way we can get them. I don't care if they're on chicken or not. So, bad as this bite is, it's tough. It's funny though, back here in this shallow water, I'm at about seven or eight feet. I'm all of a sudden getting hit, and I don't know if it's that or because the sun's out. Good fish. Like I said, I don't know if this is because of the, there's the chicken, or the uh, perch. I don't know if it's because of where I'm at, getting shallower, or it's because it's getting a little later in the day. Back alive. Yeah, I'm generally not a big fan of uh, trolling through sh super shallow water. But I got planer boards out, so that's getting the uh, stuff out of the way from the boat. Biggest reason is I just feel like... Uh, you bust fish out with the boat because they're so close to them. But I'm gonna keep pulling back through here. I've actually had some bites back here finally. So again, I don't know if it's cause it's getting later into the morning, getting a little brighter day. I almost would think it would be the opposite, but man, you never know. I may, if I catch a couple more fish back here, I may troll back out of here and put some cut bait on. Maybe split it up half and half just to see because that was two bites on that piece of cut bait. Three fish, two out of the three coming on the chicken. We'll see what's in here. I'm gonna pull this for a pretty good ways until it gets to the three, four foot range. And then after that, I may reverse it and pull it out of here. And I think the mayflies are making a big difference in how many fish we're catching. It's tough. So if that fails, I may roll out of here, 
try a totally different area if I can even get away from it. Let me get it pop off. See if it pop. Nope, still there, still there, still there. Hopefully, you can hear me. I got a chatty caddy and a kayak behind me. <laughs> Man, we have pulled a long way to get this fish. We have made a long pull. Hopefully, I don't get into this other planer. Try to dance it around that. There we go. It's probably gonna get into it. Oh. This is about the same area. I was getting ready to make a move. And I said, I wanna get to the waypoint where I caught that fish, the bigger fish earlier, the one that was in the teens. And that's about where I'm at now. Same area. Slightly deeper, not much. I'm in 10 feet of water. It is a little bit clearer. The back of the creek where I was at earlier, was a lot more stained and dingy from the uh, run in of water from the rain recently. So, boom, boom. This one is on cut bait. I had a good hit a minute ago over there on the chicken, but did not hook up. So, this will be a cut bait fish. We'll get him in here. I'll nurse him in. Nurse him in. I don't think he's super small, but he's not a giant either. So, happy to get him. Sun's out bright. Man, what a difference it was from this morning, didn't it? Heck of a difference. Cloudy, foggy, dark. Yeah, he is into that planter board line. Ugh. Probably gonna have to net him to keep from losing him. Did he eat both baits? Let's see. I'm trying to see if this fish ate both baits. In a net. While the, and the judges say no, he is only hooked with one hook. Get him unhooked there. Nice looking little fish. Good female. Stop it. Sit me down, Sassy. See what she weighs there. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. Nice fat fish. Almost 13 pounds. Solid 12 anyway. Plop them back. All right, guys, that took a long time to get to that fish. We're still in the spawn, that's the bottom line. So the fact that we got some fish and got them in the boat, some nice blues, I'm happy with that. I've got one in the teens. Uh, you know, it's about an average catch rate right now with the spawn. You can find pockets of action and biting fish. I think we found a pocket right there. Sun's brighter in the sky, higher in the sky. We got a little wind now, stuff changes. Sometimes those little changes affect a lot of stuff. So. It is what it is, glad to get some fish, uh, especially here on a Saturday morning in the summer. But I think I'm gonna get my butt back to the boat ramp, try to beat the uh, mass of traffic coming in here and we'll catch you guys out on the water.